judges, and good morning, everyone. Over the past week, our team has been in contact with our business partner over in Bauchi State, Nigeria, to discover ways that we can improve her situation and learn more about business along the way. This is Deborah Obalahin, a 56-year-old widowed mother of six. After her husband's passing, Miss Obalahin began providing for her family by starting Unity Restaurant. When she was younger, Miss Obalahu apprenticed at her aunt's restaurant for three years, where she learned basic business and kitchen necessities. After that, for over 10 more years, Miss Obalahu spent her time in the food industry. So starting her own restaurant seemed like a feasible source of income. Now Miss Obalahu cooks with passion and loves seeing the smile on her customers' faces when they taste her delicious dishes, which seeks to unite the Nigerian tribes in the surrounding region. But with an old and rundown look, Ms. Obalahun isn't reaching her full business potential. My name is Dari Kabiri. I'm Mazir Bayrami. I'm Celeste Mondragon. I'm Antonio Theus, and I'm Ahmed Ikwi, and here's our SWAT analysis. So some strengths of Ms. Obalahun's business include the exceptional food quality as she goes to the market each and every day to buy goods, as well as the community and traditionality appeal as the, she serves a diverse array of Nigerian cuisine. And she's in a very advantageous location as the only local restaurant and uh, she's in a commercial district. So she has access to a lot of uh, middle class customer bases. Some weaknesses include her lack of financial management as she has no financial tracking plan whatsoever and a high cost of production, which, as she does go to the market every single day. Her equipment is also extremely outdated, which is a potential deterrent to customers. And some opportunities include the increased food production, which would come with a stove, as if she told us it would half her meal prep time, and an ability to increase market power in the local area as a potential restaurant. So, what are the problems that come with their business? So first of all, the high cost of production, the volatility of prices. As Mazar said, Ms. Obalo goes to the local market every day and she spends 15,000 Naira on primary commodities, mostly meat and vegetables. These primary commodities are very susceptible to inflation, meaning that as inflation in Nigeria keeps increasing, her long-run average cost will increase too, which hinders uh, her ability to produce a good business. Furthermore, her outdated uh, appliances and her lack of equipment um, hinder production as she does not have access to a stove as of now and she does not have access to running water. And additionally, this makes it so that the time it takes for her to cook meals can range from one and a half hours to almost two hours, which dissatisfies customers and uh, makes her lose revenue as she cannot cook many meals with, at the same time. Additionally, the, the, the lack of a financial management um, system is very, uh, does not favor Ms. Obalahu as she cannot, as she does not keep track of her gains, her losses, her profits, and what her margins are, and because of this, she cannot reach her full business potential. And additionally, uh, the unappealing uh, aesthetic of a restaurant uh, deters customers away from a restaurant and especially within the local com uh, commerce clientele in which your business is located. Now the solutions to these aftermarket problems. First of all, we want to implement financial tracking as you can see from our uh, sheet over there. We want her to be able to calculate how much she spends on her employees, how much she spends on uh, food every day, and how much revenue she makes per day. With this, along with business training, we believe that Ms. Obalovan can learn the niches of business and she will be able to achieve productive efficiency and she will be able to maximize her profits. Additionally, new cooking appliances such as a gas tabletop stove and a deep freezer will, will help her a lot in terms of uh, making more revenue, making more food throughout the day. The gas tabletop stove will half the time it takes to cook a meal, which means more customer satisfaction and more revenue for meals she makes make in the day. And the deep freezer will limit the impact of inflation on her business as she can buy in bulk from the market, store it in the freezer, and not go to the market every day, which means that her long-run average costs will be lower. And again, renovating and refurbishing the restaurant will mean that it is attractive uh, and appealing to the commerce clientele, and again, a, a menu will also have the same effect. What sets Ms. Abalafin's restaurant apart from others in her area is her unique brand identity. Her specific mission to unite and inspire members of her community makes her stand out and attracts customers who are looking for a home-style meal and a place to feel belonging. In addition, her established catering services, her empowering industrial location, and her remarkable cooking ability are the foundation of what allows her to compete. 
Following our implementation plan, in three months, the entire renovation will be completed, her equipment and, will be installed, and her financial tracking solution will be implemented. By six months, her financial tracking solution will be elevated to account for inflation. And by 12 months, her customer base will have expanded as refurbishings are improving her public reputation and attraction. And by two years, her business will have completely expanded. Her catering services will be able to reach larger organizations and her and a small scale delivery service will be implemented. In addition to new, employ, new employees being hired as they are in demand. As mentioned earlier, Unity Restaurant is located in an industrial region in Bauchi. So close by, there are UNICEF offices, a university, office workers, and bankers that often stop by at Ms. Obalahun's restaurant to enjoy a traditional and home-cooked meal. Women and students are also members of her general customer base. So, Ms. Obalahun's Unity Restaurant has two main sources of revenue. Firstly, she generates revenue from the, mail, uh, from the meals she sells at the restaurant, and to uh, list a few popular meals, uh, pounded yam, um, jollof rice, and my my are the customer favorites per se, and generate the most revenue, um, as she told us. Secondly, the second source of uh, revenue that she has uh, told us was her catering service. Ms. Uh, Owalahun is deeply connected with the local community and has many relationships with local churches, women conferences, and special weddings or birthday parties. For example, she's a devoted member of her church and often does weddings or church events catering. Now that we've understood the revenue streams, as the infrastructure team, it's important to understand key factors for success in the future in our business model. So we've identified that improved equipment and improved um, capital in terms of the quality will be essential for Mrs. Ogolohun's restaurant business. She has experience. She has over 15 years of working as an apprentice, and she has necessary on-hand skills in the restaurant business. But now the improved equipment, alongside renovations and necessary upgrades, will finally allow her to get that level playing field in the market. She'll now be able to accomplish her dream, accomplish her dream of becoming a well-established business that provides low affordable rates while still being able to sustain her life for her kids. And as the infrastructure team, we decided, alongside consulting with Ms. Albalagum, obviously, to um, allocate the $4,300 in the best way possible to alleviate some of the problems my colleagues mentioned. For example, like Antonio said, there's a huge inflation problem, and she already incurs a high cost of production. So to deter this, um, we've definitely implemented a deep freezer. A deep freezer, like Antonio mentioned again, um, provides her with the ability to buy in bulk store and maybe only go to the market to buy meat two times or three times a week, which is significantly less than every day, which she spends 10,000 naira on. A second and greatly important um, addition we made to the budget was a stove, alongside a power generator to fuel the stove, obviously. But a stove is used for um, to significantly cut the cooking time and preparation time. Right now, currently, Ms. Olalahun takes around two hours or one hour and a half to prepare meals. And now with the addition of the stove, it greatly cuts the opportunity cost. Now she can be able to cook more meals in the same amount of time than she previously would be. And um, the rest of the items in the budget are upgrades in appliances and necessary equipments, with the major part of it being in renovation. The whole point of renovation is to improve the quality and the aesthetic going on. Right now, so she can take um, advantage of the local industrial market she's in so she can cater to those consumers who are coming from banks, government buildings, and so on. And our final budget comes to over $4,141. Impact. Judges, should you send us this money, customers can be assured of modern, affordable, and traditional Nigerian meals, and they can be confident that they will be receiving nutritious meals as well. Ms. Obolagun will have a stable stream of revenue which will allow her to provide for her children, specifically putting them through schooling, and moreover, she will empower her community by employing more people, and her business can continue to thrive as she serves as an independent, strong female role model in the community. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we really appreciate you all. Thank you. Hi, guys. All right. Overall,
very good. Um, I think you all spoke generally in very clearly, so addiction is good. Um, just a couple of quick points. Uh, Daria and Celeste, I think you guys had a good uh, flow of what you were trying to say. Very calm. Um, we understood everything you were saying. Um, so good on that. Memorization, I think, could have been better, but that's okay. We were strapped for time, so I'm taking out points for that, but, but not that much, okay? Um, the, I think, Antonio, you were a little too fast. Um, it was kind of interesting because you would go slow and then fast, so it was like up and down. I think you maybe were getting excited about some of the things that you were talking about, um, but it was really a good job explaining the problem scenario. Um, I had, let me see, let me just go through. Uh, one of you... Um, said the word obviously. Um, try to avoid that in presentations or anything really in, in terms of business presentations because if it's obvious, why are we meeting and presenting it, right? Why are we wasting our time? Uh, so that's just something to take note. Um, you, so could somebody just, you mentioned that she goes to the store every day uh, and she spends 15,000 Naira. Is it because she doesn't have the budget to go every week and buy all of her stock? That wasn't really explained. Um, so that would be interesting to, you know, it would be something that we, we would have wanted to know a little bit about. Um, the menu was really good, but I'll, I'll wait on that comment for the advertising team. Um, the budget sheet, you did a really good job explaining, Ahmed. The only thing I would say about the budget team, uh, the budget sheet, there, there's more than two decimal points, so let, you know, just be aware of that. Nobody really operates after like two decimal points, so make sure we don't do that. Um, also, good explanation of the budget line items. I also liked how you went through and, and spoke through. Otherwise, uh, everybody did really well. Um, I liked the presentation a lot. Um, and I'll leave all the other comments to my colleagues, so. So first of all, nice job, guys. Uh, <clears throat> what I really like about this presentation is still uh, the connection with um, Sister Bora yeah. and understanding how a restaurant business actually runs in Nigeria and uh, uh, identify like the opportunities. Your SWOT analysis actually, I know you didn't talk about the threat, so, but uh, the opportunity she has definitely, you guys make it very, very clear. And uh, you also made mention of the reason why you wanted to uh, kind of like restructure the whole restaurant which is uh, she is surrounded by corporate organizations and stuff like that. So which is really, really a very good uh, observation you made and uh, you actually take it as a point to, to see that you change that. And um, also talking about uh, the resources she needed. Uh, your budget is really incredible because you made a lot of consideration. So we see the reason why maybe she'll be losing a lot of money. If she has like leftover food, she has no place to store them. So you guys provide her with the deep freezer, which is a very good advantage. And uh, not just providing her with the freezer, but you consider the power outage in Nigeria to provide her with the generator as well. So which is to make sure that uh, she has all the things she needed. So this is really, really uh, a very good point that you guys talk about. And uh, uh, considering that you have like tons of things in your budget, uh, I was going through it critically, and uh, you guys are kind of like provide her with almost all the necessary resources she needed. So uh, it, it's actually up to her. And uh, uh, talking about the financial aspect, it's very, very key, especially for your restaurant business. Uh, you, you created a template and uh, really want to see how that would keep going, you know, with her. Uh, but I don't know, I didn't see anyone of you talking about like, uh, how is she going to really manage her, like, separate her business, you know, with her personal uh, expenditure and stuff like that? Like, you said she goes to the market every day to buy, uh, to spend 15000 naira. So is it primarily for her business, or does she, like, feed her family from her business? So I kind of, like, going in-depth on how she actually separate her business with her, uh, how she take care of her family, it's, it's really important at this point. But... Apart from that, you guys nail it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Another very good presentation. And uh, I really like the infrastructure investments, uh, stove, fridge, the rehabilitation of the, the restaurant, and a generator. 
um, you know, in the places like this. Um, you know, even we in the United States have power outages. And I've lost food in the United States. <clears throat> in Nigeria, those are almost, I, I don't want to exaggerate, okay. but I'd say a daily occurrence. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm not getting any disagreement. So a, a fridge is almost a necessity. And, um, you know, solar, I've done work with solar cells since the 1960s. Solar cells are a great investment, but the problem is it gets hot at nighttime in Nigeria, too. So, um, you know, you don't have the sunlight. You almost need a generator, especially in a, in a, for food, um, you know, when you're talking about food. Um, just an aside, I had a friend of mine, we were on a cruise together. He had a couple thousand dollar investment in wine, and his fridge went out. And he was on the cruise, and he's trying to get the temperature of the wine is getting to a point where it's like going to ruin the wine. And uh, he was very upset. It almost ruined the cruise. But okay, enough for that. Let's get into the presentation itself. Um, overall, very good. Um, the me uh, some, uh, Blush, I think you commented on the memorization. I think some of you, uh, you know, you got some papers there. I don't know why you have the paper there. Is that just a security blanket? Because I didn't see you refer to it at all. Um, <laughs> But it didn't stop you or you from using hand gestures, okay? Very good. So um, the, uh, the gestures were, were, I thought, really good. In fact, I gave everybody really good points for gestures, except Ari, I'm sorry. You had your hands holded in front of you, and I know it's kind of a nervous thing with everybody because I used to do that. But if you just don't hold them and you just sit do like this, it all just comes natural, okay? Don't even think about it, right? And natural is good. Um, when it comes to speaking, um, some of you spoke too fast. Daria, you did not. <laughs> you, had, you had probably the nicest pace of anybody here. And Celeste, you also did as well, had a nice pace. Um, and I'm talking fast because Marshall said I got a minute 30 and I've already talked a minute 25. Uh, let's see, so I talked about all that. Overall, it was a very good presentation. And um, I was very pleased with the way you presented presented in your, in your research. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Um, I wasn't clear if she competes on price. You were talking about her competitive advantages and the SWOT analysis uh, and to what extent, uh, full disclosure, I was a mentor, so I have a conflict of interest. <laughs> as a judge, but uh, we all do with, with some team or other probably. But uh, price competition is, if you were to, to refine this presentation, this analysis, uh, we'd want to know more about uh, how her pricing structure uh, works to her advantage or doesn't, uh, and what she should do about pricing going forward. Uh, on the, uh, the energy source, uh, it may be not feasible yet to move towards a, a clean uh, and uh, continuous source of energy such as solar, but solar is, the day is coming when there will be batteries and, and the, the right kind of storage so that uh, that will be a 24-hour source of energy. It just may not be quite there yet in that in that area, but it's coming. Uh, her daily shopping trips, uh, I mean, this this will be improved with with uh, the storage that you're recommending, the freezing capacity. And finally, the again, and this comes up probably uh, with most teams, with most most clients. The separation of business and personal finance. Uh, helping her think that through. There may be such peer pressure, family pressure, cultural <laughs> expectation that uh, uh, there's no way out of that. But if, 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 if your job is to help her grow a successful business, then your job is also to help her step back and ask some hard questions. Uh, how much of my uh, obligation is too much obligation to support family members out of the profits of this business? We're trying to grow a successful business, and 
is there's a line. Now, you may not be comfortable helping her but think that through, but she will need to, to do that. That is to take a hard look at that and maybe say no to some folks uh, that will be uncomfortable for her. And uh, as we discussed in our mentoring sessions, the, the need for ongoing management education. She should be going back for the rest of her, her life for more training in the latest management techniques, especially financial management, but other, other aspects, marketing and operations as well, uh, and ongoing technical assistance or consulting should be a recommendation. Good job. Mm -hmm.